Ma! Hey y'all, what's up? It's Elizabeth Ashley here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new here, then welcome back. Today I wanted to do a sit down video for you guys. I know that I haven't done one recently. I've just been doing like a lot of vlogs and I kind of miss it. So I changed up the background a little bit and I cleaned my entire studio, which was so nice. I feel so at peace in here. It makes me want to film in here. I spend most of my free time in here. I thought today I would do a skincare routine for you guys. I want to do a nighttime routine very soon, but I kind of wanted to go a little more into detail with the skincare and what I use and how I use it and all that kind of stuff. Just a quick and easy video for you guys. I know that a lot of my videos recently have been super long. I figured this one would be a good, simple skincare routine that you guys could watch or learn something from or just enjoy, I don't really know. First off, let me start by saying that I've always been very insecure about my skin. Growing up, especially in high school, I had horrible skin. I'm gonna insert some pictures. I never washed my face or if I did I rarely did. I felt like I was too busy. I didn't want to stay up and wash my face at night. I didn't want to get up in the morning and wash my face. That definitely made an impact so it was 100% my fault and also you know of course hormones but I was never really like oh let me go wash my face. It was just it wasn't second nature to me. It wasn't something that I felt I needed to do per se. But as I grew older, I realized that it's a very important part of your personal hygiene. For instance, if anyone said the word pimple around me, like it even cringes me to say it now because of what I went through as a kid. Like I just remember my face would turn red. If someone even said that word, I would just be like, they're talking about me or they're associating me with the word pimple. Like that's how insecure I was. And people would call me like, pizza face or they'd be like what's all over your face like little kids and I understand they didn't know what was going on but it was just mortifying to me especially being a teenager growing up like I'm already insecure about everything else so it kind of pushed me over the edge a little bit and once I started college I was like okay something needs to change I decided to start taking a lot better care of my face. It worked. I just spent so long trying to find the products that worked for me, the type of skin that I had. I never really had a good idea of what kind of skin I had. I just randomly used products that I heard of. I used Proactive. I used so many different things and I just couldn't find the right mixture. So a couple of months back, I finally found something that works for me and I wanted to share it with you guys in case y'all were struggling. So obviously I know some of you guys aren't gonna have the same skin types as me, so I'm not saying to go out and buy these products. I'm just saying this is what worked for me. I suffer from very dry skin, definitely not oily, so it was hard for me to find a product when I didn't know what kind of skin I had. I still need a couple of things to really make my skincare routine like perfect, but as of right now, this is what's working for me. But I really just need to find a great moisturizer. That is the one thing that I am struggling with. So if you guys know of any moisturizer that is really good for dry skin and does not feel cakey, then please comment down below because I need all the help I can get. Hi, it's me with pimple cream on my face editing. And I just want to let you guys know that I completely forgot to transition from my intro into the skincare so like I just all of a sudden start talking about products and that's like not cool at all dude so I decided to come on photo booth and just look my best self and let you guys know that here's the video. <laughs> I take my makeup off. I usually use the Neutrogena makeup wipes but recently I've been using the Garnier um, micellar cleansing water. Micellar I don't know how to say that either. I'm horrible, not a beauty guru, but this stuff works so well. I usually use a makeup wipe first just to get kind of like the layer off of my skin and then I'll go in with this cleansing water and a little cotton pad and just, you know, wipe around my eyes and wipe my face and then I'll go into my skin routine at the end. But this just helps get so much of the makeup off. It gets a lot of mascara off as well, which is what I really love. And it's a very, very, very great price. Like, 
one of the cheapest things I have in my skincare routine and to me it's worth it. You can get it at Target, you can get it at Walmart. I'll also have this linked below. But first up, I have my face wash that I use every morning, every night, and when I'm in the shower. It is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I've heard so many great things about Cetaphil and I finally decided to give it a shot. I used to think it was like pricey, but I realized that taking care of your skin is priceless. So I decided to give Cetaphil a try and 100% worth it. I swear by Cetaphil. I, I don't think I will ever find another face cleanser that works for me as well as Cetaphil does. But as far as like cleansing goes, I feel like this works for me even though I do have dry skin. And it does make my face feel so clean afterwards. 10 out of 10 recommend this product for you guys. I know y'all have probably heard all about Cetaphil from tons of different people, but it really is a great product and I don't see myself switching to any other facial cleanser probably ever. In the shower, I do use my Cetaphil facial cleanser and then three times a week, I use this St. Ives Energizing Coconut and Coffee Scrub and it exfoliates and leaves your skin glowing. The smell is what got me because I was like, oh my God, this smells, and this might be so gross to some of you guys and I'm sorry, but to me, it smells like McDonald's maple syrup. Or maybe just syrup in general, but it just smells so good. And it, it makes my skin feel super, super smooth after I get out of the shower. I'm gonna link everything down below that I've been using and like the price and where you can find it. That way, if you guys are interested, you can go look and see if it's something in your price range or if you guys want to try it out and let me know. If you guys are looking for an exfoliator, I highly recommend St. Ives at least. Like if you don't like this flavor, it's okay, but go get another one because I love it. So after I cleanse my face with the Cetaphil, I go in with some Witch Hazel as a toner. I don't really know how to pronounce it, so I'm sorry I'm butchering it. It's Dr. Thayer's Witch Hazel and I use it on a little, a little cotton pad and I just swab around my face. It just kind of helps tone my face and help set it up for the moisturizer. So as I just talked about, I have a really hard time finding a moisturizer that is good for my skin. A while back, I got a Mario Badescu facial cleansing kit and it came with a four different things and a free drying mask and I love the kit. I just feel like the Cetaphil and other things work better for me. But the one thing out of this kit that I thoroughly enjoyed was their moisturizer. And it only comes in this like little two ounce bottle, which is kind of sad, but it made my skin feel so clean and not cakey and just very smooth and it went on so well. It is SPF 17 as well, so it's also doubles as a sunscreen. I am currently out of the product. So I literally ran out this morning, so I don't know what to do next because I have no other moisturizers that work well for me besides this one. So like I said earlier, if you guys have any recommendations, I really heard the first aid beauty intense hydration cream is really good for dry skin as well. So I might give that a go. Might have to go buy that after I film this because I can't live without moisturizer. If you guys see a cutaway of me moisturizing my face, then I was able to squeeze a little bit out of left. What? I was able to squeeze a little more out of this bottle. So then after I'm done cleaning my face, toning it, and moisturizing it, I go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray. And then this one has aloe, chamomile, and lavender. And I don't even just use this after my skincare routine. I use it when I'm setting my makeup. I use it whenever I'm done at the gym. I use it basically anytime I want my skin to feel hydrated and it works so well. I literally swear by this. I know it's just facial spray, but it genuinely makes my skin feel just more hydrated and better. And I know there are different kinds, but the lavender so far has been my favorite. I do want to try them all though. So since I'm almost out of this one because I clearly use it so much, I'm gonna go buy another. This is my number one top favorite skincare product just because it's so quick and easy and I just spray it on my face whenever I want to feel hydrated and I am good to go. So then after that is done, I then put on the Mario Badescu, <laughs> of course, hey again, drying lotion. I just put it on any problem parts on my skin. So any like pimples or zits that I get around, I use a 
Q-tip and I just dab it all over my face wherever I need to and it ends up drying pretty quickly and then in the morning I just go ahead and wash it right off. My grandmother actually told me about this product a while back and I used it here and there but I never really was too interested, like I said, in that skincare stuff as much as I am now. So when I actually started using it daily, I noticed a difference and I noticed that it calms down pimples so much and it just makes a huge difference when you wake up in the morning. So now this is a part of my everyday night routine, like every single night. I don't know what I would do without her. Also, let me just disclaim that I know my skin is not perfect. Like, I understand that y'all are probably going to be like, why would I listen to a skincare routine from somebody that does not have clear skin? But I'm telling you, it was way worse and I'm still working towards it. If you don't want to learn anything because you think like, ew, her skin's not great, that's fine. But for everybody out there that doesn't have, you know, near perfect skin or has the same kind of skin problems that I do, like, just know that it does get better and it's still going to continue to get better, so don't stop washing your face because you don't see a change. Like, I didn't see a change until I looked at my old pictures and I was like, gee whiz. My face does look perfect now compared to that, but it's nowhere near perfect and no one's skin really is, but I'm working towards it and that's all that matters. Lastly, this isn't really like a skincare, but I do put Aquaphor on my lips every night before bed and it just prevents them from getting chapped and it also smooths them out which is something that I definitely need because lips are a part of your skincare as much as I didn't think it really was it helps out a lot and I also put some on during the day as chapstick as well I know this is like commonly used for tattoos to heal them but it also does heal like cracked skin and cropped cropped <laughs> and cracked lips. So I have been using this for the past month or so and I've been loving it. So I also have coconut oil. I am too lazy to go and get the coconut oil. <laughs> I am too lazy to go grab the coconut, coconut oil to show you guys, but in the cutaway, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's pretty basic. I put it on my eyebrows at night and also my eyelashes because it helps them grow thicker. So, your girl wants thicker eyebrows and your girl wants thicker eyelashes. It is something that I do generally often. But yeah, that is my skincare routine. So all of these different products work for me and it took a very, very long time to find products that worked for me and like all meshed together. And I'm so thankful that I did find kind of a habitual routine that I could settle down with. The only thing I'm missing, like I said, is the moisturizer. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations for those. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want anybody struggling with these problems to know that you will find a routine. Just keep trying. So don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you can see when I post next. Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked any of these products that I talked about today or if you own any of these products. And let me know down below also if you guys do use any of these products and why you like it. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about my skin. <laughs> that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys and I'll see you next week.